Building your own PC is a highly rewarding job because at the end of the day, you can sit back, relax, and enjoy a well-deserved gaming session on this new machine that you created with your own two hands. But as this task is quite enjoyable, it can also be quite delicate knowing how to choose and install all the different components and it can get really overwhelming at times. But have no fear, because in what follows, we're gonna reveal 10 must-see tips that are definitely gonna help you build your first computer. Now with so many options on the market, it's easy to get influenced by various marketing tactics and impulsively buy the newest and most expensive CPU. I know for me, I tend to somehow always go for the one with the nicest box, even though it doesn't have such a big improvement over my previous trusted CPUs. With these being said, doing a lot of research and comparing the specs on dedicated websites is a highly important step when deciding what type of CPU would be best for your new rig. Without a solid graphics card, your new computer is practically lifeless. This part being an important building brick for your entire system, regardless of what you're using your new PC for. Exactly like in the case of the CPU, you're gonna find a countless number of options on the market, and it's always important to keep cool and not go in head first when settling for a model. The graphics card should be solid enough to be able to cater for all of your everyday needs, but definitely not more powerful than your motherboard or CPU. Even though a solid state drive might be at the bottom of your to-do list when making your new PC, you need to know that investing in such a thing is gonna be the best decision you're ever gonna make. Everything from your own operating system to the movies and games that are running on your computer are gonna work much smoother with an SSD being the true lifesaver that is gonna make your entire experience much more enjoyable. Because nobody likes experiencing a power shortage while using their new computer, buying a quality power supply unit should be a rule of thumb. Before going for one PSU over another, it is a good idea to calculate just how much power your system draws from the wall socket and buy an appropriate model that is able to handle all the needs of your computer. A power supply unit is one of the most important cogs of your new machinery, and this is why you should pay maximum attention to what you choose. Even though a computer case is more of a design item than a functional piece that greatly influences the final performance of your system, it would be smart to go for a model that can actually easily fit all of your desired components inside and still have enough space for proper ventilation. Precisely measuring and calculating the dimensions of a case is an important step for building a new PC and it's best not to skip this or ignore it. While it's not a good idea to apply extreme force when fitting parts into their corresponding slots, for instance, you're not gonna to wanna to use a hammer, leaving them loose is an even worse thing to do because after fully assembling your PC, you're gonna notice that it will be nothing more than a pile of useless components that won't be able to work together. The general rule would be to fit them until they click. The RAM, power cables, and even the GPU are gonna make a specific noise when successfully fitted in, so don't be afraid to apply a little bit of pressure when installing them. Cramming the components of your computer in their new case is not only unhealthy for the entire system, as it doesn't really offer enough ventilation, but it's also super inconvenient if you wanna do some tinkering in the future. There's nothing more annoying than wanting to plug in some new connectors and finding out that everything was so tightly packed in there that there's no space to make even the slightest modification to your initial setup. Even though it's rather rare to get a dead on arrival part, testing all of your components before definitively installing them into the case is a very good and wise idea, and it should be taken into consideration if you are on the brink of putting together your new gaming rig masterpiece. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that show you the easy way to test the motherboard, the CPU, and the RAM before having them all linked together, just to make sure that everything is working well. Installing efficient fans and filters into your new computer case tends to be a rather overlooked aspect by many people, and this, this really is a pity because a good airflow is what prolongs the life of your new gaming system by a considerable amount of time. Mounting more intake fans than exhaust ones is also a good idea because if you have more intake pressure, any extra air will escape through the nooks and crannies of your case, as opposed to entering through them and bringing in all the dust from outside. 
Now this final tip actually goes hand in hand with giving your components some space, thinking ahead about the possible upgrades that you can possibly make in the future and translating into the fact that it would be wise to buy a motherboard with enough slots for some extra parts that you're probably going to add later on. If following this piece of advice you should have no problem in deciding to add some newer and more powerful components to your gaming rig. This was our list discussing some very helpful tips, or at least I hope you find them helpful, for building your own PC. Make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting us know your PC building tips. You can also check out FragHero.com for even more from the world of gaming, but until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.